Tonight, we're going to begin with a wrong way driver that's locked up after leading deputies in Hillsborough County on a very wild chase. Just a few moments ago, we got the 911 calls from drivers who saw all of this going down. And there he goes. He, well, somebody, he goes to see. He almost crashed again. Detectives tell us this man, Derek Hyde, was driving the wrong direction on US 301. Eagle 8 flew over that scene after detectives deployed the stop sticks to get him off the road. But then Hyde, they say, started ramming the deputy's cars. And as I found out today, this was not his first brush with the law and not the first time he tried to run either. I don't know why his light is off, the headlight is off, and then he's driving the wrong way. So it's really dangerous. Carolyn Griffin could not believe what she rolled up on last night. Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies in hot pursuit of a wrong way driver on US 301 in Riverview. I told my how we need to get out of this situation. Yeah. The situation, 20-year-old Derek Wayne Hyde. He was driving the wrong way up 301. Listen to the 911 calls from drivers who saw this all unfold. This guy is all over the road. He's on the other side of the road. He's going to cause a head-on collision. There's a car. I'm, 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 I'm a few cars away from him. Um, but I can see that he almost hit somebody um, head on. And when deputies used stop sticks to put it into his running and cornered him, he started ramming their cars. Carolyn and Anthony saw it all. And we could see that they had boxed him in. Uh, they had boxed him in from three sides. You can see the residue of the flares on the road here. This is where that pursuit came to an end last night, but it certainly is not the beginning of the trouble for this guy. He's had many brushes with the law. Now take a look at this montage of mug shots with charges ranging from driving with a suspended or revoked license, domestic violence with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, felony battery, possession of drug paraphernalia, and yes, another instance of fleeing and eluding at high speeds. I think he's had uh, multiple prior arrests, so investigation is still ongoing, but thankfully no, no citizens got hurt by the quick action of our deputies. Anthony and Carolyn are definitely happy about that. Derek Hyde's latest charges include aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, fleeing to elude, and reckless driving. Now, we did stop by the suspect's Riverview home today. The person who answered the door did not want to talk. Okay.